Is that bad to say? Is that bad to say on YouTube? You're entitled to your own opinion. We're now getting on a bus to get up to Machu Picchu. Welcome to Peru. We are now on our way to Machu Picchu. Now, I wasn't going to actually go here because it's kind of hard to get to and it's pretty expensive. And I want to show you guys whether it's worth it or not. I mean, it is a seven wonder of the world, so I'm sure the views are worth it, but it's also very expensive. So you know how I like to budget travel. We'll see if it's worth it. We are on the Vista Dome Peru Rail right now. It goes along the river, so it's a very pretty ride up. We took a two hour bus ride from Cusco to get here, and now we're gonna take a train ride, and then we're gonna take another bus. Observation deck right there. I mean, it's pretty crowded, but. So we are off the train now in Agua Caliente and we're going to get a bus from here to Machu Picchu but we don't have a time slot there until 11 so the buses leave every five minutes from here but so we got a, a bus, train, bus, get there and then we have to take it all back as well. Gracias. We're in the final bus now to Machu Picchu. Apparently it gets pretty close to the cliff or something, so I'm gonna try to get some of that footage. But yeah, we're almost there. Like it's been a journey. We got up at, what was it? I got up at three something in the morning and it is now um, almost 11. So the trip is a long trip. Let's see if it's worth it. We are on route. We're very close to the edge. It'd be a good bus driver to drive Machu Picchu. I'm just saying, I was wondering in my head if any buses have ever fallen off of this cliff. <laughs> That'd be a long fall. But the views are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, we are now up here and we are in line, which is quite long. 
Um, there's a hotel that's right next to Machu Picchu. It's a thousand dollars a night for anybody who wants to know how much a hotel right basically on Machu Picchu is a thousand dollars. But we're moving along. We're almost there. It's not so bad because the ride here is so beautiful that you forget that you're traveling for hours upon hours to get here. We're finally in Machu Picchu. We did not get a tour guide, which I'm glad about because they make you stop and then they talk for a long time. Um, what I know about Machu Picchu is once the Spanish came in, the Incan people moved and that's the mystery of Machu Picchu. No one really knows why. It could be because of the European diseases, but we don't know, no say. So we're just gonna kind of explore this on our own and it's very beautiful so far. <laughs> Let's go. And it, also, we came on a very good day because usually it's very rainy. So we are getting into the view view, the real view of Machu Picchu, why everyone comes here, why there's so many people. How many, like, what is it? 2,500 every day? 2,500 people every day. That's the restriction though. More would come if they were allowed, but they make it difficult to get here. So first, when you're approaching, you see llamas. We're approaching the actual view view. I'm gonna get in trouble for not wearing a mask again. Put this back on. You're not allowed to have monopods, hamburgers, uh, you're not have selfie sticks, drones, nothing like that. No food, no drinks. Um, also, the Wi Fi is pretty good up here, just in case you wondered. Good cell service and um, ancient ruins. <laughs> so, this is the million dollar view, or I guess the $500 to $800 view. <laughs> One of the seven wonders of the world. Here we are. <sighs> Oh, it's over here. Okay, I thought that was it. Okay, to be honest, I'm annoyed. Not because the views aren't great, because they are. Of course they are. It's the seven wonder of the world. It's because of all the restrictions, all the people, all the everything that makes it a bit more unenjoyable. It's very structured. You're not allowed to really, and I understand why they're protecting it, but because it's such a large tourist destination for me, I'm not allowed to have video cameras here either, by the way. So we're doing this in secret. For me, I wouldn't, for me, it's not worth it. I know that's a bold statement. It's beautiful. But in if I was to see it logistically for myself, I don't think it would be worth it. Is that bad to say? Is that bad to say on YouTube? You're entitled to your own opinion. But I'm not saying it's not beautiful because it is, okay? Just, just to clarify, I'll, get, I'll show you the shots. There are very, very beautiful places where um, you have a bit more freedom, I feel and they're a bit cheaper. It's just the cost and time to get here. That's my view so far, maybe a little change. Let's go. <laughs> These are the boundaries, only right here. Can only be here. Most things are closed off too. A lot of paths are closed off. We're gonna go down into here. We got on camera to eat the sound. <laughs> Tough. 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 <laughs> Sorry, you look very angry. <laughs> Yeah, you know. Oh, this is the highest point. Nothing. This is. So we are back in Agua Caliente. So now we're waiting on our train to go back. So how do I say this? Uh, I want to say this in the right way because I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me. Most everyone probably. I have different reasons for some people think to go places. One of them being video, yes, but it's not just that. I don't like to go to a lot of very heavily touristy places because of the, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of lines, there's a lot of rules, there's restrictions, things like that. I tend to like to explore and do experiences that way. So for me, in all, my answer, if Machu Picchu is worth it, and I will put the sum total of how much at the very lowest kind of budget you can expect to pay to get there, right here, if it is worth it 
if you come to Peru? And I would say no. I would say no, it was not worth it for me. It was a, be a beautiful, beautiful views. Everybody knows this. You can see the pictures and you know what it looks like. Here comes the train. Oh God! <laughs> Sorry, that was loud. Anyways. <laughs> if it's on your bucket list to see one of the seven wonders of the world, go for it. But that's about all it is. It's mostly people standing there. You're not allowed to jump. You're not allowed to run. You're not allowed to, to have any type of videos. You're not allowed to have like any monopods, tripods, uh, just nothing really. And um, if you want to take pictures like this with your phone, then it's a good place to go. Um, most of it is, that's what it is, is people standing around taking pictures in front of the ruins. If that's your thing, then absolutely it'd be worth it for you. But for me, no. Did I miss anything? Yeah, I don't even remember what I said at this point. I'm just rambling now. Okay, the best part for me personally was the train ride there. You can see the train ride and the bus ride, you can see all the beautiful views, not the ruins, but you can see all the views. And there are ruins everywhere, by the way, um, in Peru that you can see for much cheaper. Machu Picchu is very expensive to get into for a ticket. It's one of the more expensive places. Um, the two wonders of the world that I've seen, honestly, I've been my least favorite places, uh, Giza and here. We are gonna board our train again and get back to Cusco. And then we're gonna go into the jungle and I'm going to show you three days in the Amazon jungle. Now this is a video that I'm so excited for. Stay tuned, watch the next video, stay extraterrestrial. Big shout out to Lana for being the professional that she is. Links below, Wi-Fi artist link below and Love you, bye.